Welcome back everyone. Today I will be building a tube furnace. The heart of the furnace is this ceramic tube. It's rated up to 1500 Celsius and measures 25 millimeters on the outside, 20 millimeters on the inside, and 200 millimeters long. I also got some 22 gauge nichrome wire. The first step was wrapping the wire around the tube. I tried to keep the spacing as close together as possible, but I was rather uneven, and as you can see near the end, the spacing was very bad. This is okay though, because I will fix it as I put on the mortar. The mortar is this high heat mortar. It costs about $5 for a large tube and it's rated up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or 1100 Celsius. I painted it on with a brush. The first coat is a thin one to keep all the wire in place and after that I added a second thicker coat to completely cover everything. Here you can see it after everything is cured. I also added on these two solid copper wires to serve as connections. As the mortar was curing, I made the body of the furnace. 4 inch metal duct was cut, a little bit less than 200 millimeters long, and I cut out aluminum flashing to make the ends like this one you see here. I cut out the center and slits in the edge so I could fold it over and then clamp it with a hose clamp. For insulation, I got this ceramic fiber or ceramic wool, which is rated up to 1300 Celsius. After wrapping insulation around the tube, I put everything inside of the housing and clamped on the other end. It took about one square foot of half inch ceramic fiber in order to insulate everything well. The electrical connections come out through the end, and I might fix this later, but for now it works. I hooked it up to a power controller. With a thermocouple inserted to the center, I started my testing. For the initial run, I kept the voltage low at around 30 volts. This is so I don't stress anything and allow any water that's still in the mortar to be driven off. At around 650 degrees, I could see a glow starting in the inside. By 900 degrees, the glow was very bright from inside. It took an hour of heating, but I finally reached 1100 Celsius.